Hi, this is Raheem Zulfik Arali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will learn one important concept that whenever you create or add some visuals in your Power BI dashboard, it should be based on a concept of uh, data storytelling. And in this video, I will show you how not to use the uh, default uh, visualizations available in the Power BI desktop version but to access the marketplace and uh, make sure that your data speaks to you so that you can understand uh, the story what uh, the data is being driven for you. So let's get start. Uh, I have a data here. So let me show you the data. We have five columns, month, product name, uh, then main category, revenue numbers and forecasting numbers. and um, as a very novice user, you will be thinking of to show either a line chart or column chart comparing revenue versus forecast uh, category wise or product name wise uh, to see that if we have achieved forecast uh, with the actual numbers or not. So let's get rid of the traditional charts uh, which we usually made in either in Excel or Power BI but to use a marketplace of Power BI. So I will be adding two visualizations. Uh, the first thing is that when you use your desktop version of Power BI to access the marketplace or you can say app source, you need to first sign in to your desktop account. And to sign in, you need uh, an organizational account uh, that is could be a free cloud account or a pro account or a premium account, but it should be a, an account sign up already on Power BI Cloud. So once you sign in, uh, you will be able to access and go to more visuals where you can click on app source and when you click on app source a window will open where you can access uh, more than 500 plus uh, visualizations available uh, most of them are free some of them are uh, free but having a license to use their premium features so if we take an example for zebra bi or valq or some other third party vendors uh, they give the visualizations based on subscription model but you can try it out for free now we have uh, you can see we have different categories as well available you can filter by these categories so let me show you which I have added already so we will add a bullet chart first and this is uh, this visualization which we will be added bullet chart by ok Viscop. okay so we will add this so you simply you have to click on it Alright, so now you can see, uh, you can also download the sample file, uh, you can directly add this visual to your dashboard. So click, okay, so let's write Zebra BI in search bar. Okay, so we will be adding Zebra BI charts visualization, okay. So you will have to click on it. and then click on add button okay all right so as you can see here we have uh, got two uh, visuals available in this file for us that is bullet chart by okviz and zebra bi charts so and we will compare both of them which one is much more better so let's get start uh, i will just click on this bullet chart visual that will open up as a blank let's drag it here okay now in the category we will be adding a field called a product name in the value we will be adding the revenue in the targets we will be adding the forecast field and as soon as you add these fields you can see your visualization is getting ready uh, let's add one slicer as well so for that we have a slicer and we will go to data we will add category as a slicer so we have two categories beverages and dry fruit and nuts let's keep it um, here okay let's make it a more big as soon as i click on any category it will definitely filter and show me uh, products for that relevant category so we have green tea chai sauce and coffee and these are the forecasting lines as you can see black bullets let's do some customization if the forecasting has not met 
that bar turns into a red color and those who have met that should be in green so for that we will go to format so let's click on this chart let's go to the format first let's give a title so you can expand the title category and write the title which you want here so let's say it product product wise revenue versus forecast all right so we have that header available we can make it center bold or you can increase the font size now let's go to category access uh, you can change some settings if you want as you like value access should be on that's enabled data labels uh, that's off so you can just click and that will be turned on and you can increase the size as well for the data labels all right then you have the data color so we will pick the green color from here all right so it's changes bullet shape you can change that as well conditional colors that's important category so we what we want here is for less than uh, let's assign a color that is red and now you can see that those who have not meet the forecasted numbers are basically turned into the red color all right then we have some other formatting option available if you want these forecasting labels as well you can turn on the target labels okay all right let's uh, turn off the states and let's make it a bit bigger all right so when i click on other category dry fruited nuts now you can see uh, we have these categories and those who have uh, those categ those uh, products who have matched their uh, or greater than the forecasting numbers are turned into green and vice versa in red see so this is more uh, a good way to look uh, and analyze as a story that what your products are bringing uh, as a numbers for you uh, when you compare actual numbers with the forecast that so we'll click on that zebra bi chart let's make it a bit bigger let's put it somewhere here all right now let's add fields in the category we will be adding uh, product names uh, values we will take the revenue uh, previous year we will not take the previous year but we will go into the plan so let's scroll down in the uh, yeah we have in forecast so we have the forecasted numbers okay now see uh, what this basically giving us uh, a different way of reading the numbers so we have the forecasted number overall for dried fruit and nuts and the actual one and this is a kind of waterfall chart which shows us that dried plums uh, has meet a cursor it also shows us sum of revenue sum of forecast uh, and the percentage well as well in amount so this is a cool visualization so these data storytelling techniques are very important uh, that how user can make such visuals to understand uh, the business segments quickly so now this is for the jan this is for the fab this is for the march okay so i hope you like this short video about how we can do data storytelling charts in power bi just to eliminate the traditional charts and to use the app source thank you